So I recently watched The Apartment, the Billy Wilder film that won the best picture for 1960. And for some reason, this film made me think a little bit about Hamilton, which seems like an odd connection, but I swear it will make sense in a minute. Something that I particularly love about Hamilton is the use of its themes and motifs. There's so many rhyme schemes and vocal rhythms that are motifs in their own right, even if they're not necessarily melodic. There's also like tiny one word themes like helpless and satisfied that take on so much more meaning because of their intense usage early on in the piece. And the apartment does this as well. It does it with lines of dialogue in ways that I find fascinating. Some people just call these callbacks, but I like to think of them as being themes in the same way that the music in Hamilton contains themes. There is an infinite amount of stuff in here that works like this. So many things just keep on coming up throughout the film, like adding wise to the end of a word. Manpower wise, promotion wise, date wise, premium wise and billing wise, we are 18% ahead of last year, October wise. Efficiency wise, and this may be the day, promotion wise. <laughs> Percentage-wise. Percentage-wise. Gratitude-wise. I mean, decency-wise and otherwise-wise. <laughs> Preliminary-wise. Police-wise or newspaper-wise. Marriage-wise. <laughs> I mean, cubic-wise. That's the way it crumbles. Cookie-wise. Solution-wise. Divorce-wise. It's very wise. Gestures like gesturing four but saying three. <laughs> How many drinks did you have? <laughs> three! How many guys were there? Three. Constantly spilling drinks, too, just keep on coming up. Some of my favourites include when they're talking about her having her appendix out, she responds like this. Don't mention the appendix to the fellas in the office, okay? I wouldn't want them to get the wrong idea about how you found out. Later in the film, they're talking about suicide attempts, and he talks about the time he accidentally shot himself in the knee. While I was sitting there trying to make up my mind, a cop stuck his head in the car because I was illegally parked and I tried to hide the gun under the seat and it went off. Ow. He offers to show her the scar, but she responds... The was in the office might get the wrong idea how I found out. Later on in another scene, we see him with a gun. When she's coming to see him, we hear this noise. And we are afraid that he's shot himself. It's been established twice already. But when he opens the door... Not only is he fine, he's spilling a drink. That's a whole nother thing. My favourite thing, though, is her response. She doesn't say, My goodness, I thought you had done this thing. She says... How's your knee? So many connections. Everything links to another thing. It's just like the way that Hamilton uses themes and interweaves them to build up character and meaning throughout the entire musical but this is not a musical. It's just a little comedy drama thing from the 60s. It's really cool. I like it a lot. It just, it's really good writing. Okay?